Thank you, Mr. President, for being here. Thank you for emphasizing uh, our law enforcement interests here in the state. I think what you're going to find are these are dedicated professionals all across the state who have been on the front lines. Uh, and we'll hopefully have an opportunity to talk about some of the bigger problems here. Matter of fact, we just had some minors uh, uh, were being solicited by illegal immigrants in a very rural county, not too far from here, Shiawassee County. The, the sheriff is here and hopefully can talk about that. Uh, we believe that crime is going to be an important issue because it's yeah. hitting home. Not only the murder here, we had a, a, a minor assaulted in Livingston County, my home county. We have now minors who are being solicited in Shiawassee County, certainly the murder of Ruby. It's a, it's a big deal. General? Hello. Mr. Thank President, you. great to see you Hi, again. As, as a, a warrior. warrior. Jack is a warrior. <laughs> well, and as we talk about the border, when you ask a Marine to secure a perimeter, right. it doesn't mean you close everything. It means you, if you will, right. build the barrier and funnel the people to where they need to go. We need leadership. We need your leadership in the White House because we saw what happened when you did it and we saw what happens when you don't. And we're in this because of the fact we don't have leadership. So we did a chart and I saw it on the plane. It just came out and I'll show it to you. I think up there we're going to put it out. It's incredible. Uh, when I left, it was a trickle. And then you see it like going at levels that we've never seen before. It's like straight up illegal immigration into our country, very illegal immigration. Uh, this is immigration from jails and from from uh, mental institutions, and it's a it's a disgrace. Good job, Jack. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. John? There's the people that uh, they don't want bringing things that we don't want. Just today, uh, Livonia police seized 41 kilos of fentanyl and implicated Clinton Township as well. Uh, that's enough to kill 10.3 million people. And that number sound familiar? That's the number of people in the entire state of Michigan, 41 kilos, and they found it. So thank you for our great law enforcement officers. And I'd like to remind folks, so when we had a real president, uh, President Donald J. Trump, on February 9th, 2017, uh, he did something great, Mr. President, Task Force on Crime and Public Safety. Right. And then our placeholder president, Joe Biden, repealed it. He repealed it in January when he first took office, and crime has skyrocketed. Uh, there, there's, uh, there's no better example uh, of what leadership looks like in the White House than our 45th and what will be our 47th president. Thanks for being here. Thank you. I think they want crime because it doesn't make sense what they're doing. It doesn't make sense. You know, you ever have something where something doesn't make sense and you're trying to figure out, like, why? Normally, you understand the other side. You say, well, that makes sense. But this doesn't. That doesn't. The all-electric vehicle, I mean, how crazy is this? It doesn't go far. It's too expensive, and it's not going to be built in Michigan, I can tell you right. It's going to be built in China and other places. It's not going to be built in Michigan. And how the head of the uh, auto workers agreed to let the government go into this trap, it's all going to be built in China. They have the materials we don't. What we have is gasoline. We have oil and gas. We have gasoline, a lot of gasoline, more than anybody else. Actually, more than any other country and we're going away from it. It's just incredible, but that's not going to happen. That'll be signed, John, on the first day. Outstanding. The EV, the electric vehicle. You can buy it if you want, but you can also buy any other form of transportation that you want. That's Hopefully what we won't have to wait about. that long, Mr. President. I'm leading a CRA to push back on this harmful agenda. It's insane. So in Iowa, you, it was 40 degrees below zero. Some of these people know that. Some of the media know it. 40 degrees below, and there were electric cars all over the streets because they couldn't handle the cold. I heard that. 40 degrees below zero, right, Susie? That's a test. And we have our chairman here. We have everybody here.